just doing my diary. Now go! Come! You have to go under. You have to go under, man. You can go underneath, underneath the Oh, you gotta drop the hat. Oh, oh, oh ew, what was that, man? You like. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> so, the Russian army, eh? No, I'm joining a sailing army. Yeah, I don't know why I put the American army. Sailing guitar army. Yeah. 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 Self Make sure you stay within the line. I, I, I took photos of guys shaving up in, in South Africa. It looks so gangster. It's like what? It looks so gangster. Look at that. We'll just leave it like this, huh? Yeah, it looks good, actually. Yeah. yeah. It's like two like continues. Yeah. Yeah. So, how's your time in the Gold Coast, bro? Yeah, man. Sound good. Yeah. Pretty hot. Yeah. I should be up to about 70 now on the vitamin oh, D. Oh yeah, vitamin D. Yeah. Feeling the love, feeling the vibe. Does it feel liberated coming out of Melbourne? Yeah, it does. Well, it's really it? good. The uh, feeling of doing Harinam in another city, in your own country. Yeah, it's pretty far out actually. Very good feeling, you know? Yeah. Just, um, makes you think about the mercy some of these devotees are getting going around the world and spreading that holy name, you know? Yeah. Bring you alone in a different city in your own country is such a big eye opener realization, such a liberating you know, sort of feeling. Doing it overseas would be like far out. When the ship is there, if you're ready for it, you'll be on it and you're going to sail. But for me, conditioning was there, it was like super glue almost. Yeah. I cracked that super glue, I've come to another city and it's, it's not even glue, it's just water. It's water off a duck's back. It's just, very nice. I'm using my brains. Yeah. Yeah, no, that's good. Cool. Harinam in your own city is very, um, very closed. Like, you're like a horse with blinkers, uh, horse blinkers, but with limited vision, you know? Yeah. You can, if you take those blinkers off, all of a sudden you've got your own different cities in your country. Yeah. Completely remove the whole headgear, yeah. you've got the whole planet. Yeah. And from Florida here. Like, yeah, is, it, is it like staying fresh or is it something else? It, it's sort of like starting fresh. It's like um, resetting. But yeah, it's still there. It looks pretty neat. My head is still there. Yeah, oh, your beard. Oh, yeah.
His girlfriend names of God with music. Oh, well, yeah. Yeah. That's pretty cool. It's easy, yeah. And uh, very powerful. You cannot even perceive, but very simple. You can achieve uh, self realization. Oh, yeah. But um, the only way you'll know is if you try it yourself, otherwise. It's just armchair philosophy. That's what it's about. But if you have knowledge who is Krishna, then the mantra comes alive. Because instead of just have, just associating with some sound, nice sound, but you associate with the the person then who's named Krishna, it's very amazing. So then you feel amazed every time you chant Krishna. So that's uh, the power of the mantra, and that can only happen when you do more chanting. It's a process, it's a practice that anyone can try. Thank you. I'm only Buddhist. 